Hey guys, do you want to learn how to get a little bit better at Pokemon? Well, today I'm going to bring you 5 tips on how to do that. Hey guys, I preface this by saying I'm going to bring you 5 tips on how to get better at Pokemon, and that is what I intend to do. This is going to be a top 5 tips on how to improve your Pokemon gameplay. Now, a lot of these tips are going to relate to real life as well, so be aware of that, but at the same time, they're just very good tips to have. So at number one, I have stay positive. And this is huge, guys, because... Staying positive is something that a lot of people actually just forget about when they're playing Pokemon. You know, a lot of people, they'll either get frozen, burned, hacked in some way, and they'll just, you know, they'll really get down on themselves and think, you know, there's no way I can win now. What am I going to do? And you can't be doing that because that is hindering your game in the long run. You need to be able to play through that even if you are in a 99% lose situation. Like you have one health and you guarantee to outspeed or something. You know, you have to have faith in yourself and you have to stay positive. Uh, hacks do happen and you have to remember this. That in-game hacks will happen. You will get crit. You will get burned. You will get parried. You will get flinched. These things happen. Things happen that are outside of your control, and you need to be able to stay positive during that. Now, I'm going to bring you two examples. One of them from Pokemon, or actually, I'll bring you three. Three examples. Two from Pokemon, one from not. The first one is going to be from Overwatch. Now, I play a lot of Overwatch, and a lot of the time, I have people on my team who will leave. Now, this puts us in a 5v6 situation, but I try to stay positive about this, because it's possible to win. Now, it's very unlikely... And that is out of my control but it's possible so staying positive can make a huge difference because it affects how you see the game and your actual gameplay it makes you doubt your decisions so you just got to be very positive now for two Pokemon examples now in the MCL which was a league a long time ago fans of the channel will remember this I was I think 5-0 and 6-0 and or something going into week four six or week seven or whatever and I made a misclick and it cost me the game 100% cost me the game uh, at the end of the game I was left I, I basically used a move that I know had no effect by accident my mouse just moved over it lost me the game now I was super upset and I think that might have had a, a impact on why I lost because I was so livid, I was so upset, not just with the game, but with myself for being a fool of doing that. You know, I wasn't playing with a mouse at the time, I was just using my touchpad. And I knew that that was a possibility of what could happen. And I, 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 I really beat down on myself for days. And you guys don't need to follow suit. You know. In the long run, having seen that happen now, I know to stay positive more. You know, things like that will happen, and you will lose games for no reason. Crits, burns, things that, like, such a low percent chance will happen, and you just need to be able to persevere through it. The last example is just one of the most recent sweep decks on Levin and AK War for 120s channel is a Pokemon that got like four crits in the same game. Now that opponent must have been livid because a Pokemon getting four crits or three crits or something in a row, that is unheard of, especially if you don't have any way of boosting your crit ratio. So things like that, you have to stay positive, guys. And it doesn't just affect that game. It'll affect your entire mood for days onwards. So stay positive. The second one I have here is actually just practice. You know, if you want to get better at something, and this applies to everything, not just Pokemon, you have to practice, okay? So if you want to get better using a specific Pokemon, build teams around that Pokemon. If you want to get better in a specific metagame, play that metagame and play it a lot. Again, a lot of Overwatch, I practice Overwatch, and I see myself improving. Now, the same with Pokemon. I'm not a very good Pokemon player by any means, but I have seen myself improve tremendously through practice. In When I started, I would finish leagues like 2-12, 0-12, things like that. 
Now I'm actually able to rack up wins here and there. And it's all because I spend the time practicing with those mons. So if I'm getting something like a Lowland Marowak, I'll start practicing using that in Pokebank, in regular OU, in all of these various formats. I practice using those mons so that I'm comfortable using them. And just practice... Just practice in general is a very good key aspect of any game. Very few people come into a game with zero practice and are the best at it. If you want to get better, you need to start trying to use those mons in different situations. Because you never know what's going to happen in regards to those Pokemon. You could go one week and get completely swept with an Alolan Marowak. And the next, and you know, get really discouraged and goes back to point one, stay positive. And then the next week in a league play, you could bring a little Marowak and 6 0 a team. You never know what's going to happen, and you never can know the limitations of your mons unless you actually have, you know, practice using them. So, practice is one of the biggest things that you guys need to do. At number three, I actually have do the research. You know, a lot of people will go and not remember, you know, hey, what exactly are the ratios on, you know, this move? What's the chance of this going to do that? Will this Pokemon live that? Do the research, guys. You know, there's plenty of websites out there that are going to give you information regarding Pokemon. And, you know, Serebi, Bulbapedia, Smogon, uh, Pokemon Damage Calculator, all of these sites are resources for you. And you can sit there and do the damage. And you can learn, you know, hmm, in this specific format, am I able to live this move from this Pokemon? Now, sometimes you will and sometimes you won't. But you won't know if you don't practice. And research. Because, re the, again, because all of these are going to play together. Practice and research are going to play together as well. You can do all of the research in the world and if you're not practicing it's not going to make a difference. You need to combine all of these skills to make a good Pokemon player. Now that being said, research is more than just looking up moves. It's watching other people play. It's watching other battles. Now this can be going on showdown and watching random battles. This can be watching league play like the GBA, like your IDL, like your ICL, like your NPL, various leagues. Just watch matches here and there. See how others are using a Pokemon. Because that has a major effect on your gameplay. So, you know, do your research, practice, and stay positive. At number four, I actually have that you should record and keep records of your battle. Now, Levenant AK War for 120 keeps meticulous. Me Levenant AK War for 120 keeps meticulous records of his battles. And I thought, you know, man, he's such a fool for doing this. And then I realized how effective that is when he's doing Pokemon guides. Because when you're practicing, yeah, you can say, oh man, you know what? I, I did really well with this Pokemon. And he got like three crits and he lived all these things. But if you can't remember and have records of what you did... In the future, it's going to be more difficult for you to remember and build teams surrounding those plays. And that's huge because you want to be able to know, you know, this set worked better than that set in 20 situations. This set is a good set. This set is a bad set. You need to be able to be aware of these things. And it's huge, guys. You know... Being able to look back on what you've done good and what you've done bad in the past is a huge asset, again, in both Pokemon and life. If you make a mistake, stay positive about it and look to the future for it as a learning curve, you know. Stay positive about it and look to the future using it as a learning opportunity. Don't get discouraged about it. Learn from it and use it to become better. And the last one, guys, is just have fun. If you're not having fun playing these games, I mean, why are you playing them? There's no point to be playing Pokemon unless you're having a good time. These are games, and they're meant to have fun. And so many people lose sight of that. 
I know I did personally. You know, when I first got into league play, into Smogon play, it was all about the competitiveness for me. And if I didn't win, I beat myself down. Stay positive. So overall, you need to just have a good time. If you're not having fun, you know, take a little break. Do something that you enjoy. Do something that if you're getting upset, calms you down, cheers you up. And I know this is tough. Trust me. I'm the kind of person who's going to sit on Overwatch till 5 in the morning every day, getting angry and angrier until I'm, I'm, I'm passing out. And it doesn't help. And I know it doesn't help. And trust me, I know these are hard habits to break, guys. They are very, very difficult habits to break. But if you are able to break them and even get moving, you will see an improvement in not only your Pokemon gameplay, but your life in general. Now, I know I'm not the epitome of this. I know I'm not like the top tier of this. I know I'm working on this. But that being said, I can very confidently say that I have seen massive improvements in my gameplay and my life since I started trying to practice these techniques. I'm not all the way there yet, guys, but I know that together, both myself and all of you guys, can we can get there. We can get there and we can have a good time. You know, we can have fun and we can play. So, I've been Vampire218. I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.